I'm Angela Guido, the founder of Career Protocol. Welcome to MBA Monday. Today I'm talking about whether you should take the GMAT or the GRE. It's an age-old question of about five years. For a long time, schools only accepted the GMAT. But the GRE came on the scene several years ago and has been edging up in the competition for everybody's favorite test in applying to business school. So a question that a lot of people ask is, is there really a difference? Do schools really care which test I take? If I take the GRE, am I screwed because schools prefer the GMAT? Well, the simple answer to all of those questions is no. It doesn't matter which test you take. If the school accepts both tests, they value the GMAT and the GRE equally. However, which test is right for you does depend on you. So here's how to decide whether you should take the GMAT or the GRE. Step number one, take a practice test of both. Before you dig deep into preparing for either test, take one of each under timed conditions and see how your score comes out. If you do much better on one test or the other in your relative scoring, or if one of the two tests feels just much more intuitive to you, then pick that test and stick with it. Swing for the fences, don't give up, study, work hard, hire a tutor if you have to, but pick one test and don't change in the middle because there's some tricks and idiosyncrasies to each test that takes time and energy to master. And abandoning all of that to go master the other one is gonna double or triple the entire amount of time that you're spending preparing for these tests. So pick one and stick with it. And again, if you do marginally better or much better on one or the other, just pick that one and run with it. The second decision criteria, if you kind of hate them both, or maybe you love them both, or you just kind of do equally poorly or well on both of them, then you wanna understand where do you expect yourself to land on your final score? A really good way to sort of estimate your probable final score is to take your cold test score and add 100 points. This only works on the GMAT. You'll have to figure out what the equivalent GRE is. There's a GMAT GRE converter down in the description of the video so you can go and convert your GRE score to a GMAT and then add 100 points and then reconvert that back into the GRE and you can figure out what that means. But if you're, uh, if you're taking the GMAT, in my experience as a GMAT instructor for many years, as a former GMAT instructor, in my experience, if you add about 100 points to your cold test score, that's what you can expect to get if you do everything right in the preparation process. That's a big assumption. It's a lot of work to get ready for these tests, but if you do all the right things, you should be able to see about a 100 point gain from a cold test to your final test. So think about where do you believe your final test score is going to end up? Another good way to think about this is, what's your history with standardized tests? Did you ace the ACT or the SAT? Were you really great at the AP tests? Or do you generally freak out when you're faced with a computer that's testing you? Figure out kind of where you are on that spectrum. If you feel like your score is likely to be above the average, of your target school, then I recommend you take the GMAT. If you feel like your score is going to be potentially below the average of your favorite schools, then consider taking the GRE instead because if you look at the average GMATs and GREs of all of your favorite schools, what you'll notice is that in apples to apples comparison, if you convert them all to the GMAT, the GRE score average at these programs is a bit lower than the average GMAT at those schools. There are many reasons for this that go back to the history of MBA programs and rankings and test scores and all of that. You don't need to know any of that. All that matters is notice that on average, the GRE scores at your given school are a bit lower than the average GMAT scores. So that means align yourself with wherever you think you're gonna be. If you think you're gonna be doing better than the average, then having a GMAT is gonna help you more. If you think you're gonna be doing a little bit less than the average, then a GRE score is the way to go. So that's the way to decide which test to take if you don't have a strong reaction, positively or negatively one way or the other, when you take the two tests as a sample test 
for the first time. Once you've picked your test, give it all you've got, run for the fences, and don't give up until you get the very best score that you can get. And that's not a 780 GMAT for everybody. You have your own best possible score, but your goal is to achieve that one. Because the test score, while it won't get you into school, it could keep you out if it's not close enough to what the school is looking to see in the test scores of its candidates. Good luck. This has been MBA Monday. I'll see you next week. I'm Angela Guido, the founder of MBA Monday. No, not at all. <laughs>